What's up, y'all? It's Laura Sapien with Sella by Ronstadt Digital, and I'm back with another video to share with you on how to prepare for an interview. So first things first, congratulations on making it this far in the process. Now that you've secured the interview, I want to share some tips that I use to help my candidates prepare for their interview. So tip number one, you're going to want to take a look at the company website and take a look at their About Us page. If you are a designer, feel free to navigate through their website and pay attention to the style, the branding, the color palette, and things like that. Tip number two, look up the people who you will be interviewing with. So you could look them up on LinkedIn and take a look at how they started um, in their career. Take a look at how long they've been working with the company, uh, how long they've been there for, and who knows, maybe you even have worked with the same people previously or have some of the same connections. So that could be a good talking touch point even right there. Um, it's always important to interview the person who will be interviewing you, and it could be simple questions like, how do you like working here? What made you decide to join ABC Company? Always remember, if they give you time to talk at the end, you want to make sure you utilize those with um, some questions. Third, the setting. Make sure that you are in a quiet setting. Make sure that you're not taking the phone on you're not taking the video call on a train or in public where there's like construction happening in the back or anything like that. Make sure that you have either a Zoom background or a background where it's like a blank wall or it's not super busy where they lose focus off of you and your guys's conversation. Tip number four, be ready to talk about your work. If you have a portfolio, keep that open so that way you could follow along if they have questions about anything specifically from your portfolio. If you have a resume, make, which everyone should have a resume, right? <laughs> but keep uh, remember to have the same resume open that you presented to the client. So if you have different versions of your resume, make sure that you have the same version of your resume up and open and be ready to talk about your experience. Last but not least, pay attention to detail. You're going to want to pay attention to detail so that way you could send a thank you letter afterwards and attention to detail will go a long way. In your thank you letter, you want to include, you know, thank you for their time, for meeting with you and reiterate what your takeaways are from the job description and the responsibilities they are looking for you to do. But also if they mention they have a dog named Sparky or Bubbles or whatever, um, you want to make sure that you say, hey, you know, you could end it with thanks, Ted, hope you and Sparky have a great weekend. Something like that and a little touch like that could go a long way and help you stand out from the crowd.